Yo, what's going on, guys? So, today we got another Snipe Filters video for you guys. Um, start off with some really cheap options here. Obviously, been here, done that, but I gotta express my love for this filter a few more times. 8,500. Uh, you can bump it up a little bit depending on what the cards are going for. You could probably do with like 9,000. Probably do. Wow, Chris Milton's actually the cheapest now. That's kind of funny. Um, I probably still recommend 8,500, and just sit on the 8,500. Obviously, talked about this one a lot. I'm pretty sure you guys have all heard it by now. But that is the best budget filter. Sit on that until you get to 100k. And I'm gonna give you guys tons of options today. Tons of options if you're at 100k. And so we're gonna start off with point guard. Division Central, minimum buyout 100, and then you're going to have to ma minimum bid this and max this out. Um, as of now, it's not looking good at all, which is tough. But if it is working, there are a lot of great cards that pop up on this filter. Um, Paul George is on it now. Uh, LeBron, Giannis. I mean, it's an amazing filter. But, of course, right now, as I'm recording this, um, it is not working, sadly. So, check this. Maybe it's working at the time that you're using it. The reason why I don't think it's working right now is because it's super late at night and everybody's doing that Oko Dre thing. Where, I'll quick explain it because it does make people empty. Where, if you have an enabled filter, you sell your, you, you sell your cards for a max buyout of 100k and I'm obviously a max bid of 100k and some people will buy it and I think that's why this filters like it like that right now um you guys can try that um if you have an enabled filter but yeah I think that's why it is like it is right now just wanted to explain why this filter might not look that that great and that's why some of the filters in the later bits of this video won't look that great either so yeah dark matter central can't stress that enough because Paul George is a pretty common snipe and he's pretty expensive. Um, number two, obviously a classic here. Um, small forward, uh, conference Western. I don't even know if you really got to set your minimum bid up too high. Um, yeah, you gotta, you can bring it down a little bit. Uh, so you'd price it at like 91 K. Um, and then obviously the cards that you can see on this, uh, LeBron fan favorites, be careful with that, but you can see Kawhi, who is a snipe, KD, who is a snipe, um, and Michael Porter Jr. Now, look at this filter, though. Uh, there is some issues with it. Look how many cards are popping up. Not many at all. And obviously, due to the time of night, it's going to be obviously kind of dry as well, but you guys are kind of catching my drift here. This filter's good. But it's usually only good because you can see um, you can see MPJ on it. So it's basically just an MPJ filter, but it gives you multiple other cards that you could see and snipe possibly. Um, just be on the lookout because that could get better over time. Um, but yeah, uh, another one. This is very this is very hyped up one recently, but I talked about it in my last video on how I don't really like it too much. But Rockets. Minimum buyout, minimum bid. Uh, this is another just good filter. Oh, you don't want to do small forward, though. Definitely not want to do that. So we can see on this one... Oh my gosh, I set to point guard. We can see on this one is James Harden, Yao Ming, and new Tracy McGrady. Uh, works pretty well, I would say. The only thing is, as I feel like people are height, uh, would go after this just so they could get Yao Ming... But I also feel like the people that are going to snipe Yao Ming are probably hard scoping Yao Ming. So they have a higher chance of sniping him. And Yao Ming, look how rare he is. Like, he's not popping up on this filter too often here. But, yeah. Like, you guys can take it how you want. James Harden's also on this, but, like, he's hardly ever going to pop up. So, yeah, that's just another filter. Um... Those are three really good filters. I'm trying to think if there's another one that I'm missing right now. Um, you guys can try this. Um, say there's like a specific position you want to go for. Um, just like set center. And then set minimum buyout, minimum bid. Alright, now hear me out. Obviously this is going to be a long scroll. 
Um, but what we can also do is like change conference and just just see what the conferences are looking like. This is kind of a long scroll, yeah. Um, but let's go Eastern maybe. Still pretty long scroll. Okay. But let's go maybe point guard. Yeah, point guard's not looking good either way. Um, maybe shooting guard. I don't know. Just like test them out because sometimes you might f be able to find your own pretty good filter by just doing this. Uh, I found one earlier. I think it was on... It wasn't small forward because small forward western obviously works. I want to say maybe maybe it was this filter right here. Now the reason why this filter's not working obviously again is because they're doing the Oka Dre method. Check them out if you haven't already. Which is basically posting your cards for 100k. I already explained it. So that's why I think some of these filters aren't working too well right now. But yeah. So now final part of the video. And this is where I want to put my personal input into it. Because obviously you guys know I've been talking about the small forward western I mean small forward filter and then the point guard eastern was it that I was using. And basically I want to explain to you guys why I'm at 554k. So basically obviously if I go in here only can see Luca and tons of crappy dark matters. I sold out of this filter. Now I'm not going to sit here and say that this filter sucks because obviously let's go check it out right now. I'm going to show you it doesn't suck because you got Paul George who pops up pretty frequently and is obviously a great snipe um you got lebron you got the whole central filter let's just say that and then you have uh penny hardaway and you have now you have hito um hito i'm i'm gonna be kind of honest here hito is why i sold out of this filter now if you guys remember from last week there was a KD obviously in the uh, the USA Olympics promo and he's kind of having the same effect on this filter that this Hito is he pops up a lot and sometimes he sells for snipes and sometimes he doesn't and that's the issue and it's I, I get so tempted to snipe him and then I sell him back and basically what's gonna eventually happen what happened with the KD is I'm gonna have to buy him out making the filter expensive now not only did Hito become a buyout LaMelo Ball over the weekend started to become a really strong buyout. And obviously on PlayStation, he was a buyout for a while. But on Xbox, he wasn't. And you were able to snipe him. And basically, what I'm trying to say about this point guard filter is, like, you can see this Paul George on just the central filter. Literally, the central filter is crazy. Like, you can just sit. The central filter is literally the same thing. Because you're still seeing LeBron. You're still seeing Giannis. You're still seeing D. Rose. Be careful with D-Rolls. Try to buy, like, buffed out ones and not buy, like, normal ones. You can see, um, Michael Jordan. Literally, you can see some of the better cards on that point guard Eastern filter that you can just see on this one. And it's, like, kind of less stress to find a hard enabled filter. And you can keep more of your MT just sitting there. So that's why I ended up selling out the point guard filter. I just want to share my personal input with that. As of now, um, there really aren't too many enabled filters I would go with. Um... Even after the small Ford filter, it's becoming less and less profitable. Um, just to be completely honest, I'm gonna share my opinion as well. It's it is end game. It's end game 2K. Um, if you enjoy sniping, keep sniping. Keep sniping on just normal 100K buyout filters. Um, that's what I'm gonna be doing personally. I'm gonna try to I'm trying to put in a, a new series um, on my channel. So be on the lookout for that. I'm not for sure. Because it's kind of hard to do, but we'll see what works. It's kind of hard to come up with ideas that haven't been done, so I might have to copy, or in, not copy 100%, but kind of be inspired by other YouTubers, you could say, um, by making a new Snipe series. Uh, but yeah, it's the end of the year. Do what you want. Go all in, spend your MT, get the, your favorite players. But hey, if you enjoy sniping, keep sniping, just like me. If you want to open packs, it is gambling, like DBJ says. I do agree with him on that, because gambling is kind of addictive. I see myself doing it, and I need to stop personally. Um, but yeah. Basically, I just want to say that. And last but not least, for the end of the video, obviously I've been saying it a lot, but as of right now, as of the time of I'm recording this at like 3 a.m. my time, we are currently at 223 subscribers. Literally yesterday, I was celebrating 200. Now, obviously, obviously that's not going to make me millions, but 
it is growth and it's been exponential growth over these past few days and like i keep saying but i know every everybody would always say this every youtuber would say this but thank you guys so much like it actually means super it means everything and literally only five percent of you guys are like subscribed right now i checked my youtube analytics so if you are a part of that five percent you guys are helping me make this become a reality and it's it's crazy to say because i'm not even making money off of it yet but like in the near future it's probable it's 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 not impossible it is probable as well like there's a high percent chance that it is gonna happen one day so yeah i'm gonna stop wasting your guys's time this is just how the snipe filters have been working the past couple days it's not really changing much up and yeah that's about it. i got one more thing to add about my growth uh i promised you guys a tto video um yesterday i think it was i was gonna post it yet last night but my sophomore kept bugging i tried editing it it's just you guys could barely tell what i was telling you guys on like what to do so i apologize that that's not coming out either but yeah appreciate all the support see you guys in the next one uh monday and tuesday we'll get new content so the snipe filters will probably change it up a little bit but use that point guard central filter i think that'll be really good for you guys um and it works for only having 100k. So yeah, see y'all in the next one. Peace out.